This is the Daily Social Distancing Show with Trevor Noah. Let's kick it off with the holiday story. If you've been listening to the music in the background of any store over the past week, you know that this is the most wonderful time of the year. But it's still 2020, which means even the holidays are a little less jolly than usual. Online shopping instead of going to the mall, Zoom parties instead of real ones, and now this. Say it ain't so. The makers of Pepperidge Farm cookies say there may be a shortage of cookies this holiday season. No. And they blame it on increased demand and a labor shortage, both results of the pandemic, of mm. course. A recent survey shows cookie consumption has increased by 25% since the start of the pandemic, with one in five Americans eating three or more cookies a day. Okay, you know what? That's not cool. Like, I don't know why the news is not reporting on the number of cookies I eat. Yeah, I eat more than three. Why is that news? What am I supposed to do? It's a pandemic. Do you just want me to cry every day? Now, apparently this crisis is not just being caused by increased demand. It's also a labor shortage, which I assume means that the Keebler elves are on strike to protest their dangerous working conditions. If you've ever had a crunchy cookie, that's elf bones. So look, I understand why there's a shortage, but still, man, this is so messed up. Christmas is the cookie season. This is like Trojan announcing that they have a condom shortage on Valentine's Day. If I can't buy condoms, how am I supposed to impress the guy at 7-Eleven before I go home and play video games by myself? And I know, I know some of you people are saying, but Trevor, you don't need to buy cookies. You can just bake your own cookies at home. No, 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 no. That was the first three months of quarantine. I'm done with that baking shit now. And this is gonna be real bad news for Santa Claus. You think he's gonna travel around the world for a pair? I wouldn't even walk across the room for a pair. This man needs cookies to keep up his energy so that he can give presents to all the kids and then have Christmas sex with all our moms. <laughs> Let's move on to some news out of Great Britain. It's the country with the non-Beyonce queen. During the coronavirus lockdowns, many Brits have gotten so desperate for entertainment that they have taken up gardening. And some of them are being rewarded for their efforts with more than a new flower bed. Now, proof that gardening can be beneficial in more ways than you might think. A family from the New Forest discovered this hoard of gold coins while doing a spot of weeding. The British Museum says it's one of a string of finds recorded during the first lockdown in the spring. It's thought the coins would have been worth, wait for it, the equivalent of £14,000 in today's money. How good would that be to discover that in your garden? Imagine finding a hoard of gold coins while you're gardening. I'll tell you what, that's the end of gardening. Man, forget these rhubarbs, I'm rich! But you know, this is just one of the benefits of living in the UK. Because anytime I dig for treasure in New York, I just end up in my downstairs neighbor's apartment. <sighs> Sorry, Jerry, looks like I did it again. Also, there's just so much more buried treasure in Britain because it's an old country with thousands of years of civilization. Gardeners in America would be like, wow, a can of new Coke from 1985. The history books speak of such things. So congratulations to that British gardening family for their find. Although they should be careful. The original owner might be coming back for that manner. You never know. Next week, the dad will open the door and see an ancient knight standing there. Whither is my treasure? You're looking at it. I got myself a butt lift. Damn! I hate to lose my coins, but I love to watch them leave. 